looking for a fight-free rematch of Super Bowl 56 between the Rams and Bengals. Mike Petralia inside Paycor Stadium, where the Los Angeles Rams, the defending Super Bowl champions, of course, take on the defending AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals in the preseason finale for both clubs. The Rams 1-1 one one heading into this preseason finale, while the Bengals are 0-2, of course, having uh, dropped their first game here at Paycor Stadium to Arizona two Friday nights ago, 36-23. And then they lost last Sunday night in that last second uh, decision, won by the New York Giants 25 to 22. The Bengals had a pair of rushing touchdowns in the red zone. That's one thing that Zach Taylor and Brian Callahan and the offensive coaching staff was really zeroing in on. We've got to be able to run the ball better, especially in the low red zone areas. And they were able to do that first drive of the second half. Travion Williams with Brandon Allen at quarterback. And he was able to punch one in. And, of course, Jacques Patrick was able to run one in in the fourth quarter. They gave the Bengals a 22-18 lead, but, of course, they could not hold on to that lead. But running the ball in tight situations, short yardage situations, has been a priority here in the preseason. It's an impact, and it is a philosophy and a trend that the Bengals want to carry on into the regular season, an improvement to make upon what happened last year and, of course, in the Super Bowl between the Rams and the Bengals when the Bengals could not pick up a single yard on five different occasions, including twice on that ultimate offensive drive that led to the Rams holding on for the 23-20 win over the Bengals. Well, tonight we are expecting to see mostly reserves fighting not necessarily for spots at the back end of the 53-man roster, but rather for spots on the practice squad, which will be announced after the final 53-man roster is decided upon this coming Tuesday at the deadline uh, of 4 p.m. So once that deadline passes, all teams begin to really make moves to try and fill out their practice squad. And players like a Jacques Patrick, like a Travion Williams, uh, players with practice squad experience from before, they want to make a good impression in this final preseason game and try to keep their uh, certainly their significance forefront uh, in the forefront of the coaching staff and Duke Tobin's thinking when putting together any potential practice squad. Uh, certainly the defensive backs uh, is an area where the Bengals certainly figured to want to add depth, at least at the practice squad level. Uh, guys like De uh, Delonte Wood and also Alan George, both of them have been fighting it out throughout training camp. Uh, that is certainly an area to watch here tonight in the preseason finale. Also, the punting competition. Kevin Huber and, uh, of course, uh, Drew Chrisman will be alternating punts here tonight. And that is a competition that certainly uh, Darren Simmons says is going to come down to the final days. Uh, it will be a very difficult decision, he told me earlier in the week, as to who to go with. Because right now, Drew Chrisman has the bigger leg, but Kevin Huber has the advantage in terms of directional and hang time. This is something that Chrisman noted after the game last Sunday in New York that he has to work on. But will... Darren Simmons decide to take the chance on a second-year punter out of Ohio State in Drew Chrisman and keep him and let the 14-year veteran Kevin Huber go. He is just one game shy, is Huber, of setting the all-time Bengals games played record. So that'll be something to keep an eye on as well. If you're wondering about the holding competition between Chrisman and Huber, Simmons says it's been dead even all camp long in the preseason as well so that doesn't figure to be a major factor unless one or the other really slips up in a big way here tonight left guard that figures to be cordell volson's job if he does not play here tonight that's pretty much an indication that the uh, job belongs to cordell volson the rookie out of north dakota state going into the opener september 11th against the pittsburgh steelers jackson carmen and trey hill do figure to get the majority of reps at left guard here tonight against the Rams. Don't expect any carryover from the fight on Thursday between Aaron Donald, Lael Collins, and linebacker Leonard Floyd. These are guys with a lot more to prove than just fighting on the field. They need to win jobs as well to the Rams. So this should be a pretty much straightforward game. And of course, remember, the two head coaches are very good friends on and off the football field. For all the coverage all game long, 
Follow me on Twitter at Trags, T-R-A-G-S, and all season long on clnsmedia.com. And be sure to click on the link below, the Jungle Roar podcast on YouTube. I want to hear all of your comments, good, bad, and indifferent about the coverage here on the Jungle Roar podcast. Inside Paycor Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.